Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now in this one I'm going to be showing you this uh, custom mouse that I made. So before I do anything I'll just show you how it works. So if I switch over to desktop here and um, yeah so basically it's meant to be like on the ground like this and the joystick here it like moves the cursor around the place like as you would expect and um, this here is left click this here is the right click this here is uh, the middle click and then this here is like the special mode button so if you hold this down and you press this it becomes like the browser back this becomes the browser forward and this enables uh, temporary auto clicking and if you press it without holding uh, this indicates that you're in the special mode and in the special mode uh, this is used for scrolling uh, up scrolling down and then this uh, enables afk auto clicker so I'll just go back to normal mode now. And uh, if you want to reset everything, all you need to do is just click the joystick and you'll be back to like normal mode and whatever. So here, if you can see up here, if I click, you see, actually I'll just zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. So yeah, and then right clicks and then middle clicks. And then if I hold if I hold this down and press this, it goes back and then this goes forward and then this will enable auto clicking. So right now auto clicking is on. So if I hold this down, as you can see, it like auto clicks while you're holding it down and it's the same for right clicks and it's the same for middle clicks as well. And then to turn it off, just go into the shifted mode again press this and now if you hold it it just clicks once all right so for the special mode i'll actually go into here since i can scroll so if i hold down this one see it like start scrolling and you can hold them as well and they'll just scroll nicely like that and this is actually the build guide on my website for the mouse <laughs> so you can take a look at that if you want to see how I made it because this video will be mostly about uh, what it does and the code. So anyway, let's go back here. And since right now I'm in the special mode, as you can tell by this, if I enable AFK auto clicker, as you can see, it just like keeps on auto clicking and like you can move your mouse or whatever while this is happening. And then to stop the auto clicking, just press this again, or you can press this to reset to defaults. So as a matter of fact, we'll do that. So as you can see, there it is. And then we press it and we're back to defaults. Now if we just click once. So that's kind of the functionality of the thing. Um, it's using an Arduino Pro Micro. As you can see, it's like hot glued inside here. <laughs> And then I also have like a nice stand for it that clips onto the keyboard. So I'll show you guys that in a second. Yeah, so as you can see, I have my keyboard here and then I can clip this stand on here and it has like Velcro. And then this at the bottom has Velcro as well. So this would just go on like this. And then that way, and I'm like typing away or whatever. And then I need to use the mouse very quickly. I can just go here instead of like reaching over here, you know, so it's like a lot quicker. And uh, so, yeah, let's go to the code now. So for the code, you can actually read the guide here. So just click the code guide at the top. And uh, so what you want to do is clone the firmware Make sure you have a uh, Git installed. And then you want to download um, Arduino ID as well. So, so you'll be greeted with this page. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to enable testing and you want to enable use serial. 
because before running the actual firmware, we want to test. And you'd also want to go into Tools and go into Manage Libraries. And what you want to do here is search for HID Project. And there it is. Make sure it's the one by uh, Nico Hood. So like this is what I tell you to do here as well. But I'll just go off this and then just uh, select whichever the latest version is and press install. And that's all you really need to do. And then plug in your Arduino, go into tools, inside the board, select Arduino Leopard, and then select the port as whatever port shows up here. Open serial monitor. And what you want to do is upload. So here you can see compiling sketch, uploading, and done uploading. What this mode is for is just uh, testing buttons. So if I click this one, as you can see, left click pressed and the left click released. Then this is right click, middle click, and then um, the mod key. So you want to check if all these match. So for example, if you press left click and it shows up as right click, what you have to do is go into the arduino.h file. And I'll just make this a little bit bigger. And so you'd want to switch the pins around here. So for example, if you click on the left click and that appears as right click, then you'd want to switch this to like eight, for example. And then once you switch something, you need to upload the sketch again. So click this upload button here, like so. And then while in test mode, you should still be able to move the mouse around. It's just um, the buttons that you need to test. And once they're all good, you can go back into here. Oh yeah, and also make sure your joystick is moving like in the proper way that you want it. So if I move it up, it moves up. If I move down, it moves down. If I move it like towards the table, it moves left. So if this is not how it works for you, you can go all the way down here and change this to one. So this will basically invert the joystick. Or another thing you can do is you can change the joystick pins. So you can have you might have better luck with doing it like this. And then just upload then wait until this is done uploading and then see if it like works perfectly. And then once it's done, go back to the main file here and comment out both of these. So now we will no longer see anything here and just upload the sketch. And now when you click stuff, it'll actually be the, like the proper click instead of just showing the buttons. <laughs> so if you want to customize some stuff, like the sensitivity mostly. So if you increase this to like, say 100, you would need to decrease this one to like by a little bit because both of these uh, values together, they change the sensitivity. So if I compile this now, as you can see, it is now very, very slow. <laughs> Whereas before it would like fly up to the screen. And then if you change this to like, say one or whatever, and you change this to 100, what this is going to do is going to make your mouse feel kind of laggy because what this does is like every 100 loops, it will run 
the code. So if I move this, as you can see, it is very laggy. <laughs> so you want to keep this and this like at around Yeah, so you want to keep this like at around 10 and this at around 20. Um, you can decrease this to like 15 if you want like a faster mouse. So if I upload that, as you can see, the mouse is like fairly quick now, but I like it around 20. All right, so another thing you can do is you can increase or decrease the scroll speed. So this is basically how fast this moves. So I'll actually show you. So as you can see, if I hold it down, it moves like this. Um, if I change this to, let's say 10, it should scroll twice as fast now. All right, so go into the extra mode and then start scrolling. As you can see, scrolls like <laughs> pretty much to the very top of the file straight away. With just like one click. So yeah, I like it at around 20 or whatever it was. Yeah. And then this is how fast you click uh, per second. So 15 is kind of the minimum value that it can go because if you go anything below 15, uh, it crashes basically. <laughs> so if you increase this number, it, your clicks per second will be slower. So 15 is like the fastest clicks per second you can do and you get around like 30 clicks per second with this. And then the LED counter delay this is basically this LED here, how fast you want it to blink. So at the moment it's blinking every 50 milliseconds. And so if you want to blink every half a second, you want to change this to 1000. Upload it. And then go into the special mode. As you can see, it's blinking now every half a second. But I like the really fast blinking, so I'm just going to keep it at 100. And so, yeah, the rest of the stuff here, uh, don't change that because that's um, that's used internally by, well, you can change this one, but don't change like the rest of the stuff that's used internally by the program. And you might like mess up. You might mess up if you change some of those stuff. So. So yeah, this uh, website here that I made, it kind of goes into more detail than what I just covered here. So if you're confused about the layers, uh, this is how they behave if you wanted a nice table. Um, so that's the materials. And then this is how I built the actual thing so this is how you wire up the joystick and then you shove it into the housing and then you prepare the switches so the switches they just look like this just kind of normal switches then I just soldiered some wires onto the legs and then just added an LED at the end so yeah, the pinout. You can follow here if you want it to, to be the same as mine. But you can also just simply uh, change it in the code. So where you have this, you can change it to whatever pinout you use. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I just kind of wanted to show you a cool project that I was working on. Um, cool mouse project. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching.
and bye bye